Are you ready for the Christmas house tour? Come on in. Welcome back to Live Your Style, and as you know, I'm Shara. Okay, so today I'm gonna to just show you our little Christmas house tour, and I'm really excited to show you kind of everything. I know we've kind of looked at the tree, and we've kind of looked at the mantle, but I haven't shown you how I've really accessorized our bookshelves and our dining room table. I've never shown you this part of the house ever. I don't know why, we just kind of never got to this part, but look how pretty it is. We need to have someone over now. One of the things I did this year that's different than other years is the accent color that I picked for our Christmas decorating is actually green. Usually I go glitz and glam and gold and I kind of decided, you know what, let's go a little bit more organic and kind of enjoy more of the woodsy feel um, and still using some of the gold and brass but making it more of like a muted version and not such a loud, poppy, obnoxious and annoying to clean up after Christmas with your lovely vacuum. Okay, are you ready to see the place? Let's start with the dining room because I'm already sitting here. Okay, so as you guys know, we have one big room and we split it up into three other rooms. Uh, we are in a very small space. So this little corner of this large grand room is our dining room. Now over here, we have this awesome dining table. I will link it below. It's probably on sale now because we got it about a year ago. It's from West Elm, very mid-century. Um, and these chairs, I love. Tyler actually picked the cool ones out. Okay, I'll give him the credit. Um, but I love how we have this awesome centerpiece here. This year is really unique, okay? Almost everything in this home is shoppable. And by the time this video goes out, I have a feeling a lot of this stuff is gonna be on sale, which is unfortunate for me, but amazing for you. <laughs> Cause that's the best time to buy Christmas decorations is the year before, cause then you get everything on sale and then you can actually put it in storage and use it for the next year. Okay, so I love uh, these dishes. We got at Macy's, they were on our wedding registry. And we intentionally uh, registered for all white because then you can do really fun stuff with your placemats and you can switch it up all the time. These placemats are from Target. They're from the Hearth and Hand line, and I love the green plaid. We kinda went crazy with the green plaid in a very classy way. Don't worry. One of my favorite things about this table, these are the Olivia Pope wine glasses. This is the white wine glass. Um, if you guys watch Scandal, you know what I mean. They have red ones that are bigger, but I just thought these little white ones were so cute, so I put these out. Look how cute. Okay, these are name card holders. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like the cutest thing ever. And they're like a little bell in case I have a speech. Okay, so I really wanted to feature our engagement photo since it was kind of ended up being quasi inspiration for the way we decorated. Um, but as you guys remember, we used to have that giant bowl over here. This is a lot smaller of a picture than the giant bowl. So we wanted, we needed to do something different and kind of more expansive on this wall and kind of just using these different wreaths to kind of frame our lovely photo. Okay, you wanna go see the office? Let's go. Okay, so here in the office, you guys know we have these two different bookshelves on either side of the desk. And we wanted to pull that green uh, color back through on the bookshelves, but also utilizing um, any decor that had any of that natural item, and then also some of the brassy gold color and also the white. Um, you guys know I absolutely love using books from Salvation Army or places like that. One downside that I have learned from buying really cheap books from Salvation Army. You can't really get cool titles. So for example, over here we have Voices of War, You on a Diet, and Living in Style. So hopefully people who come over just look at the color, they don't read the book titles because they're gonna get real confused. Like literally I bought one, I saw it was white and I opened up the book, took the thing off, and the side of it's an idiot. Could not use that book, I just can't. So here's what I did. I turned the books around and utilized some of the pages. Wait, this might be the idiot one. Oh no, little drummer girl. That would have been cute, but look how pretty these pages are. They're like C.S. Lewis pages or something. They look old and really cool. But again, all of these books 
are from a thrift store and they're like a dollar a book or two dollars a book. When you go to a cool like vintage bookstore, they get a lot more expensive, but you do get really cool books, so it's up to you. Now, I love these vases, love, love, love. Here's why I love them because I can use them year round. Yes, it's green, yes, it ties in with a lot of the like woodsy green Christmas we've got going on, but these I could totally reuse. It's not like super glitzy and that's, whenever I would use all my glitzy decor, it screamed Christmas and I could never use it year round. So I love that I can recycle that and put it back in the house. Now, as you guys know, in some of the other videos that I've done, or if you've seen my mom's videos, we have a little way to accessorize. It's called the odds rule. You wanna accessorize with items threes and fives or sevens or whatever. Um, right here, we have one, two, three. I know that there's a fourth back here, but it kind of like takes up the entire space, so it's like a backdrop to this little vignette that's happening. And again, look how cute these little bottled matches are. If you guys saw my previous video on accessorizing a couple of weeks ago, these are my new favorite thing because they're so cute and decorative. And if you don't wanna spend the $8 or however much they are, you can DIY it yourself and I will link that video below. One of the cute things I kind of used in here when I was accessorizing were these spools of ribbon. I know it's meant to be put on packages, but I thought it'd be a cute little accessory because these little spools are little wood ones and they're just so cute and adorable. So it's kind of a twofer. You can use it to wrap and then you can just store it over here as an accessory. And then on the other side of my desk, I have my other bookshelf. One thing I wanna point out, you guys, I meant to say in the beginning, I have a giveaway. So you better wait till the end of the video because it's kind of something everyone loves and everyone wants to know where I get it and I'm not gonna say anything else after that. So just wait for like three more minutes, okay. On this side of the bookshelf, I did add a few pops of red because it is Christmas. The truck is driven forward a little bit. So. Oh. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, so on this side of the bookshelf, um, we did use a few little pops of red, like on these cute little pillows. Tyler loves Jeeps, and I saw this at Home Goods. I know this isn't a Jeep, but he loves trucks in general, old trucks specifically. And I just thought this was so cute. And I know it's red, but it had the little trees in the back. And I just, you know, you see those things at Home Goods, and you just have to get them, right? Well, it was really big, so it kind of took up that top layer. Down here, we have these cute little houses, these little nesting houses. And they have chimneys. You can stick things in them. Doesn't that look so cute? And then, really simple, just use a sprig of these little Christmas white berries, stuck them in this actually gray, it's not clear, uh, vase that I can also reuse during the rest of the year. And down here we have these cute little trees. Another match bottle, because we have another candle. And another few little pictures. And look at this, you guys. This is our wedding book, and it matches. See, it was just like destined for us to do this color palette this year, don't you think? And then down below I decorated with some more ribbon in this cute little bowl and another green vase. As you guys saw last year and throughout all of 2017, I have kept my little twinkle lights up. I put them up during Christmas time last year and I love them so much, I don't ever take them down. They're just that cool. Hint at what I'm giving away, all I'm saying. Okay, if you guys saw our how to decorate a mantle, you guys have already seen this part. Um, but we decided to fill our little mantle opening where usually a fireplace lives. We don't have an actual fireplace. Um, we filled it with some real wood and kind of gave it that woodsy vibe. And then we have our little cute little hearth in hand filled <clears throat> stockings, which by the way, everyone wants to know where Scout's stocking is. And I have to say, Scout did not get a stocking because she got a hearth in hand green plaid doggy bed. Roll the footage. And then over here on our coffee table, we have these adorable uh, gray glass vases that again, we can use uh, throughout the year. And I just put a simple, like you literally can get these at craft stores. It's like what people make those little villages, you know, you put your Christmas village together. It's just a frosted Christmas tree. I put them right in the center. Thought it kind of uh, featured those little trees really well. And then I just toppled a black and a kind of off-white book with a candle in front. And again, some matches. But we have these really cool clear glass containers that we found at Target. Kind of put a mixture of those wood branches, some faux greenery, and some dried eucalyptus. 
Eucalyptus is really great because it obviously smells really good, but when it dries, it looks awesome. It doesn't look like dead greenery like some other things do. Okay, if you guys saw our how to decorate a Christmas tree video this year, you all know that we have a half Christmas tree. flat-backed tree that went right up against the window here, perfectly framed underneath our curtains. Um, we have a small space and we didn't have any room for a full 360 round, big, voluptuous tree. So we opted for half of one. And then check this out, you guys. We have this white and black chevron paper, which is really cute. And I used some of this green plaid ribbon. This one is adorable. It's kind of like green and black houses um, on the white paper. And lastly, the green plaid. The mom, this one's for you. And as you guys know, we got a new couch a few weeks ago. Um, I love this couch. It kind of also inspired the direction that we went because previously we had like a gray blue sofa. So we could do a lot of the whites and the golds. But now if we just did white, we have a white sofa. So we had to do a pop of color. And then to finish it all off and to tie in that lovely green color that we have going on, I got these really, really cute pillows. I absolutely love these pillows. Again, you really could use them year round. They're not just Christmas centric which I kind of like. Okay, so the big giveaway, are you ready? If you want to win a set of these wonderful twinkle lights, I have one set to give away. Um, you guys just have to do two simple things. Look down in the drop down box for the instructions on what to do, but basically make sure you subscribe to this channel, leave me a comment on this video, and then go over to Instagram and make sure that you follow me there. It's Shara Stevens and I will link it below. That's okay. three things. What did I say? Two? I said two. Well, that's just because I assume that everyone is already a subscriber on YouTube, right? Right? I hope you guys loved our Christmas house tour this year. I know that I had such a fun time making all these wonderful, fun Christmas videos. And I especially hope that you guys have a wonderful and happy Merry Christmas this year or any holiday that you celebrate. Um, and I just hope that you guys are loving your family, enjoying life, and able to sit and appreciate the small things. That's something that we are trying to do in our family. And I just wanna encourage you guys to look around and just be appreciative and happy about the little things that you have in your life. Okay guys, I will see you maybe again this year, maybe not, I don't know. But if I don't see you by the end of 2017, I'll see y'all in 2018. It's gonna be a good one. Bye-bye.